Sadi Ka, welcome to Thailand at Large, and my name is Abel Wanamakok, and your host for today. I'm standing in the middle of Phuket Old Town, and this place is one of the most famous locations in the whole of Phuket. For you to learn about Phuket's culture, diversity, see its architecture, and the food, and especially the people. And today I'm going to take you to visit many, many places and see why Phuket is chosen as the first city in Southeast Asia to be picked as city of gastronomy. So you're in for a real treat today and I hope to bring you to many, many different places and enjoy what Phuket has to offer. So let's go. Phuket is not just a world famous tourist destination. Thailand welcomes the news that Phuket province has been announced as UNESCO's city of gastronomy for the year 2015. This project involves intangible culture and also combining creative modernity or with innovations on the basis of original authenticities. Phuket is one of 18 world cities of gastronomy and is also the first city in ASEAN to be so honored. Concerning food, Phuket has various contributing aspects to be announced a city of gastronomy, particularly the attention on food sanitation. This fresh market, under the supervision of Phuket City Municipality, should serve as a good example in its status as the source of quality food. เราก็จะนําท่านมาที่ตลาดสดเอ่อ So it's time to go shop around the markets, which is first starts at the seafood zone. อ่าปลาสาดเนี่ยปลาสาดตัวยาวๆนั่นน่ะเค้าจะทําหอมเมื่อวานเราไปร้านหอมหมกมาแล้วเนี่ยเอ่อก็ทําจากปลาสาดน
Most tourists hardly know this market, perhaps because it is not included in general tour guides. But Phuket residents know well that here is the source of delicious food at reasonable prices. And above all, it's under the quality control of the food and safety principles to make these food items safe for all consumers. This is the of Phuket. We will know the area of Phuket in the area of Phuket, the water, 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 นะครับว่าถูกถูกสุขลักษณะอาหารจริงๆนะครับนอกจากสวยงามและสถานที่ราคาถูกและสวยงามที่สุดบนภูเขตที่แสดงความยอดเยี่ยมและความเป็นไปได้ของสัตว์และสิ่งของธรรมชาติที่มีอยู่ในพื้นที่นี้ยังคงอยู่ในระดับที่ดีของพื้นที่ More importantly, it is also an agricultural practice in line with His Majesty the King's sufficiency economy philosophy principles. In today's very modern world where people are eating fast food and very unhealthy foods, you have to think about what are you putting into your stomachs. But living in Thailand and especially in Phuket, there's lots of places that keep to its roots and following the sufficiency economy concept of the king of going back to the nature and eating organically. And today I'm very fortunate to be here with Kun Tik, who is with the Agro Tourism Center here in Chern Tale. So Kun Tik, Sadiha. Sadiha. Very, very nice yeah. to have you. Yeah, welcome. Um, yeah. Thank you. Now tell me please, uh, you have a really, really big place here. You have five right of land yes. where you grow yeah. all natural products. So uh, before, our Thai people, yes. we have a big problem with our healthy. Mm. You eat uh, chemical yes. with food, yes. but after we have uh, our communicate uh, or communication with our friend, yes. with family, mm. how to safety our food. Take care of the health. Ah, uh, take care of the health. Mm. We think our King project is mm. the best one mm. for you do by yourself. You produce in your country, mm. and you bring everything for cooking. Right. Yeah. Uh, our our farm here, we, we call small farm, mm. just for learning, right. to show our students, to show our school how to produce. You can see eggplant, oh. especially no chemical. Wow. We bring our our cheese. Uh, Oh, key quai, key fat, huh? Yeah, especially buffalo poop. Yeah, yeah. Everything we come and do pui ma. In Thai, pui ma is for no chemical and try to make a safety. We we put everything in our flower that is dao leung, or da la, or eggplant, and you see our. Wow, this is very nice. Yes, and. And everything you can eat fresh because uh, nice that's color. why that's why our Thai people and especially to get mm. we try to keep uh, organic food. Mm. We try to keep uh, healthy for our people in the village. Right. Yeah, that is uh, the concept mm. of our farm here. Yeah. So now you told me that you actually have a team of people, yeah. experts, expert chefs, uh -huh. who can show us how to make something. Sure, correct? sure, sure. Can yeah. you take me? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Didn't know I was on camera. You know, this juice was given to me by these beautiful ladies here, and it's made from organic roselle flowers. Now talking about organic, I have a lot of organic food right in front of me. And these beautiful ladies is going to help to show you how to make a special salad. And I will let them introduce because I don't know how to pronounce the right Thai word. So we are doing uh, khao yam or herbal rice with uh, 
Hai Jasmine Rice. Khao Yum is a local dish that has gained wide popularity in southern Thailand. The method is simple, starting with newly cooked jasmine rice sprinkled and mixed well with a small pinch of sugar. Then, spices for the dish, Phuket's specific formula, are added, followed by red onions fried in shrimp paste. A little powdered dried chili is then added for the hot taste. Laced with fish meal, crunch fried peanuts, fried coconut meat. Then, various herbs are put in, starting with finely shredded lemongrass, yard-long beans, specific plants called mui, young tops, finely shredded khmer leaves, and red onions. Tiny dried fish is then put in, followed by finely stripped raw mango meat. And finally, the indispensable item, which is the identity of Kalyam, is the torch ginger flour. Finish about five minute cooking. Thank you. What a beautiful dish. And it took five minutes. And people like me who don't know how to cook, and you make it look so easy. Thank you so much. Can I have a little bit to taste? production sites can create tourism activities at the same time. And this is the reason that has brought me to Ban Bangrong in Bakloksa district of Talang district, a tiny village rich in biodiversity and with ability to create interesting activities for agro-tourism. So at the moment I'm in the Bakok district in Phuket province and uh, I'm very happy to be here with Khun Samad who is a representative of the uh, agro-tourism of the Ban Bangrong and this place has a lot of history. Uh, we're standing in the restaurant area, which has also become a part of an agro-tourism. Uh, activities, restaurants and foods and things like that. And I'm gonna let Kun Samad tell you a little bit about what they're doing here and how you, the viewers, can come to Thailand and enjoy yourself and enjoy agro-tourism. Kun Samad, thank you very much for your time today. Um, can you introduce yourself? And can you introduce this place for us, please? แรกเริ่มเนี่ยที่นี่อ่ะมันแรกเริ่มเราก็มาแก้ปัญหาเรื่องอ่าป่าโครงการสุกทําลายแล้วหลังจากนั้นน่ะหลังจากนั้นน่
When the mixture is ready, the boiled black crab are put in and fried again. Red crabs used for this menu are also raised in the community. So therefore, it's very fresh and the cleanliness is guaranteed. And this is the first dish for us today, black crabs in shrimp paste, mm, yummy. Thank you, I'm gonna eat this whole thing by myself. <laughs> Just remember, everything that is put into this dish is organic, it's fresh, it's easy to make, and this is one of the reasons why I love Thailand so much. So on to the next dish now. This is called Gang Song, and in English, it's called a sour curry soup. I was told by the cook that the clue to make delicious spicy sour soup is with fresh fish raised in the community and the homemade spices to get a good mixture. So let us start now. First, shrimp paste and salt are put into boiling water in the pot, followed by spices, then tamarind mixed with garcinella juice with sharp sour taste. The shop's specific formula is then poured in. At the boiling of the mixture, sugar is added and fish meat put in to bring the whole thing to a boil. And then we get fish in spicy sour soup, rich in herbs. For the ladies, it helps you with um, reducing fats and actually helps you with your skin. And the fish here, they said, don't overcook it because if it's overcooked, it's not gonna taste that great. So come here and try this dish, Gang Song, which is the Thai sour curry. And you can always ask for a little bit of spicy if you don't like too much spicy. From Ban Bangrong Community Kitchen Food Shop, I take you to see the lovely goats here. All goats at the Manirat Goat Farm and Homestay are dairy goats producing milk with high nutritional values. So let us take a look at the detailed information from the farm proprietor together. I did not even know that there's many, many goat farms in Phuket, but talking about food and what goat can produce, I'm here with Go Pon or Kun Pon, who is the owner of this farm. Sadiha. Thank you very much for your time. Um, I see that you have many, many goats. You say you have about 50 goats. Uh, tell me a little bit about the reasons why you started the, this farm and what is good about goat milk. So what can it do besides the allergy? What it, why is goat milk so good compared to other milk? พอๆลูกผมกินนมเพชรนะผมตัดสินใจเลี้ยงเพชรอยู่ 2 What other products have you produced? Can you introduce a little bit the other products that you have done with goat milk, please? อ่านอกจากนมเพชรแล้วก็คือต่อยอดจากนมเพชรก็มาทําสบู่ครับก็มีวิโรชั่นครับครับโลชั่นแล้วก็อ่าลิปบาล์มลิปบาล์มลิป
You know, we've been to so many places already in Phuket. We tried so many different types of organic food. We visited many, many places that is teaching us about how to go back to nature and to take care of our health and our well-being. And what better than being here on the ocean in southern Thailand. You know, we have one of the best beaches in the whole world here in Phuket. And today, I'm here with a new friend, Kun Saifon, and she is going to teach us something totally new that I've never heard of before, called sand spa. Tell me a little bit about this sand spa. What is it? เป็นเหมือนกับเป็นเป็นเล่ธาตุเล่คล้ายๆว่ามันเป็นเล่เอ่อแสนรังสีอะไรอย่างเงี้ยเพื่อรักษาวิธีการเล่ธาตุก็ส